this uh, manuscript they used to write they don't use to write in english or hindi language right they don't know that language at that time this language was not there okay so basically they used to write this manuscript in sanskrit language or prakrit language or tamil okay they used to write the manuscript in this three language now prakrit language is a type of sanskrit language only okay it is a type of sanskrit language only so in this way they used to write manuscript in this way okay now we will learn about inscription inscriptions are also the source of history from that now inscription we can preserve it for the long period of time why because they have not they have not written the inscriptions on the palm or of a leaf or something like that on a bark of a tree or something like that they have written on the hard surface that is copper plate metal plate or stone means inscriptions are written on the hard surface now what they used to write they used to write the orders if the king wants to give some order to the people staying there right so they used to mention that on the inscription about the king about the victory of the king they used to uh, write note down in the inscription okay so in this way they use the inscription so in that way also we are getting the knowledge of history with the help of inscription okay so inscriptions are carved on metal and copper plate okay and that is also an important source of history why because inscriptions can preserve for long period of time as it is written on the hard surface okay now as this chapter of history is very big okay so still we have not completed the chapter in next chapter we are going to continue about we are going to learn about the dates okay now in history dates are very important so we are going to learn more and more about dates and after that we will complete the chapter and i will discuss the question answers with you in next session okay till that keep learning stay home stay safe bye bye